Hello everyone. So it's uh, January 16th, 2021. And unlike last week, we have crystal clear morning out today. There is absolutely no fog. Water is glass smooth. Um, so of course we've hit uh, one drawbridge, drawbridge on the drive over. And while the barge was going under it, the trains were lined up waiting. So now we're waiting on the trains to finish their cross um, over the river and we'll be on our way. Today we're planning on heading up north through Admiralty Inlet, get some footage going up through there. Then gonna head out um, into the Greater Sound. There's an island out there that apparently used to be um, individual purchased lots that the government took over and converted into some form of bird sanctuary. So we're gonna go up and check that out, fish around there, see if there's anything to be caught and uh, then make our way back. Should be a great day. Stay tuned. So after the big rains and winds here this past week, um, you know, we're running into things like this just to drift in the water. That one looks like it's been in the water for a while. Don't know if it was destined to be a telephone pole or electric pole or something along those lines, but pretty sure it wasn't intended to end up there. So we have made it up to the north side of Protection Island. We got some lines in the water. Um, we've got some nibbles, haven't hooked anything up yet. And uh, you can see the side here, pretty sheer cliff face on this. Um, understanding from recalling what I've read is this island originally was gonna be subdivided into multiple private lots of oceanfront property. The other side actually has its own little um, bay area with dock and the government ended up buying it up and turning it into a wildlife bird refuge. So um, just funny because really haven't seen a bird over the island at all the entire time we've been here other than just seagulls out on the water. So um, I think the story goes one guy managed to keep his little uh, cabin he had built down near the shoreline and uh other than him everybody else gave it up but i think we're gonna stay here a while longer very calm peaceful day out across the way here we may head over to i believe it's called john wayne bay or john wayne marina in a little while and pick up some extra fuel before we head back seems the fuel gauge is um my boat's a little tricky when it's in the middle range um so i want to make sure we have more than enough to get back but for now, we'll keep fishing here for a while, see what turns up. If I get any, um, you know, big birds flying about, I'll grab some footage of those. We have yet to catch anything on this side of Protection Island. We've tried multiple depths and uh, we are going to pull lines and cruise around to the other side. But I will say if a person wanted to just come somewhere to uh, get away from everything, meditate, take a nap, whatever, this would be a pretty cool place to do it. If you ever heard the waves in the Corona commercial where they're sitting out on a beach, um, that's exactly what it sounds like here. Don't know if the GoPro will pick that up or not, but it's um, pretty serene and peaceful. You know, unless the hillside falls down on us, that might be a bit of a bummer. But other than that, it's really nice here. In fact, I may break out my uh, better camera since there's no rain or anything else major going down and uh, see if I can get some higher quality footage. On the north side, pretty much vertical wall, other than the areas where you can see where the wall has fallen. But outside of a few places like that, it's pretty much just sheer cliff face all the way to the grass. Oh, along with some amusing little trees, you can see the one up here. It's uh, sitting there pretty much barren at this point.
And we may have an eagle setting up top here. Of course, he would have his back right to the sun. If you, but if you look dead on the ridge line at the top, uh, appears to be an eagle. And uh, now I'm told we have a sea lion sitting down in front of us as well. So we'll. Uh, He's playing. Time looks as if there's any on the beaches. So the elusive sea lion, or lions, keep uh, bouncing up around us here. I don't know if we're gonna let us uh, get a good picture of them or not. If they're just gonna be extremely bashful today and say no thanks. Yeah, it looks like today we're not the only boat out. We've got uh, one other one off in the distance here. Moving along at a pretty good pace, heading towards Port Townsend. So, we'll uh, give it a few more hours and we'll be doing the same thing. And then off in the distance here, we have what appears to be another full-size log just merrily floating along. So, another nice reason to have an aluminum boat out here in this. Um, you know, if you miss seeing one or run into it, at least you're going home. That appears to be a good sized log out there. Yeah, so we have some seagulls out here just floating along on a little log along the, um, the end of the island here, which drops off significantly from the um, the height it's at. Zoom out here and show you kind of the difference. Right, if uh, you know the thing got covered with some snow, it'd probably make a pretty, pretty cool sl sledding hill. Now with a nice landing at the bottom. Finally managed to catch up with one of the seals and there he goes. There he is again. Just checking us out. Little one. Yeah, it is a little one. Down it goes. And a moment ago, I thought what I believed to be a bald eagle setting on the beach here, but it, uh, whatever it was, we got distracted by the seal and it's not there now. Another one out there. Two more out there. Here's a bunch of them. Look at all the seals. So, right here off the tip of this island, get the motor entirely. Just like turn it off. Well, we're going to uh, we'll, the water up. I want to drift back in. So here in front of us, we've like a dozen or more. Yeah, run into a dozen seals, sea lions. Just. All hanging out here in the water. I've seen a lot before on a uh, floating buoy, but I've never actually seen this many before all out together in the water at once. But there are several. Now it look like they're having a pretty good time. We'll uh, steer out well clear of them and try and loop back around to the other side here. See so if they stay here or follow us.
Yeah, switch back cameras here, back to the GoPro. So heading around Protection Island, you can see this one end of the island is nothing but steep hillside. Uh, it's got a little um, like spit that comes out off the end of it here. Nothing but driftwood and looks like sand or gravel. But it looks like there might be a little like walking path or where something's climbed the hillside over there. Not sure what that's about, but anyway, cool place to explore. We're now on the, uh, this will be the interior side of this protection island. It's starting to come into where one of the few structures that was built still remains. Not sure if this little piece over here is a water tower or it's a lookout tower, exactly what it is. And then this definitely looks like someone's cabin. Uh, this is the first structure we've run into while we've been out here today. I'm looking on maps now to see if it's we are coming out of John Wayne Marina. We just stopped to uh, grab some fuel. Put on 23 gallons, got us back up to three quarter of a tank. It's part of the filler hose you can hear start gurgling like it's gonna spit back at us. We just called it good there. Probably way more than enough to get us back back to our, our marina so nice little area up here they are uh, open seven days a week they are closed from noon until 1 however uh, I think the opening time was 8 a.m. close at 4 30 p.m. Uh, other than that one hour gap at lunchtime from noon to 1 fuel price was three dollars a gallon for 87 octane no alcohol and um, to find the guy we did have to go up to where the harbor master um, office is and at the bottom of the stairs for the harbor master office there's a little button you press for service and it uh, rung the guy up we tried dialing the phone numbers posted uh, both the cell phone number which is also the security number and the regular number multiple times and left messages and didn't get anything so finally we walked up there to find someone and pushed the uh, button and the guy came like within less than a minute so Great service, great little marina, kind of hidden up here, tucked away. Kind of see off in the distance here, a few houses around the area. Just south of Dungeon and Spit. So, but yeah, nice area. Uh, we did find out, talking to the guy, it's like, you guys uh, bottom fishing? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you caught anything? I'm like, not today. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, because nobody up here ever does. <laughs> so, we are, with that news, heading back south. Um, he said since the early 70s, nobody's had any luck up here with any kind of bottom fish. Forget what he said it is they did, but um, apparently you're not going to catch anything like that up here. So, um, taking the locals' heedens, we're not going to try going further up in here and see what we can do. We're just going to start heading back towards home and maybe stop along the way. Anyway, if you're ever up this way, check the place out. Pretty nice little marina. Uh, they do have overnight mooring as well, right? You can uh, sign up, get a slip uh, with services, I think with electric. They got a pump out. So nice little tucked away spot up here in Puget Sound. Uh, well worth the uh, effort to check it out sometime if you're in the area. Hey, so we've wrapped up our day out. Um, incredible day on the water. Absolutely incredible. The water was so calm, so still. Mountains peaking above um, clouds, right? Snow capped. We didn't catch a single thing. May have got a couple bites, but it was still a pretty incredible day. Ended up went and toured around the uh, Protection Island, which has been created as a bird sanctuary. 
been so many birds saw a lot of uh, sea lions um, off the edge of the island in the water it was more than I've ever seen in one setting uh, ended up going up into John Wayne Bay or John Wayne Marina to pick up some fuel before we made our way back and it was pretty cool going in and doing that first time I've actually um, fueled on the water since I've owned this boat so that's in three years other than the fact that you can hear the fuel start gurgling up like it's going to spew over uh, right we're only able to get on three quarters of the tank which is okay it's more than enough to get us back um, you know I'm talked to some locals learned that there's really no need to be up there fishing for anything off the bottom because there isn't anything anymore so little things like that but just an incredible relaxing day out and we'll be out to do it again next weekend uh, brian's already got another bay picked out we're gonna go check out which is along the path of the hood canal bridge where we were at last week so we'll go check that one out next week see what we can catch there and um you know maybe break out the camp stove and cook some lunch as uh we haven't done that in a few weeks now we've been bringing our coffee with us in the thermos that's linked down below so check that out and uh, if you've made it this far and haven't uh, already subscribed please feel free to go ahead and hit subscribe like the video if you've been watching you know a few of them uh, you know ring the bell if you want for notifications or don't ring the bell right now we could really use the added subscribers that'd be pretty awesome if you did if you haven't already um, you know we want to go out further and do more it would be, be cool when we can actually make a little money off of the videos we're posting simply to put fuel on the boat which is why where we'll be going so anyway for now for this week we're signing out um, hope you've enjoyed what we've had not a whole lot this week no rough water no weird fish uh, but overall for us very relaxing day so we, we need more of these with the way the world's going nowadays so anyway for now we'll sign off and um, you know catch up with everybody next weekend thanks for watching